This is Carrie Gleckner, and I'm back with Stephen Figel on Meg's Forward. So talk to us about, you, you've, you've talked about how Meg's County's home and, and being here, and you kept coming back. What do you see in Meg's County that maybe we take for granted? Well, there's definitely more kindness and caring here than there was in the major urban areas that I lived in down in Florida. Um, down there, it, 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 it seemed to get anonymous after a while, where you were just one of many people. And up here, of course, there are fewer people, but it's more than that. I think the people up here tend to care more about their neighbors than they do in Florida, which isn't to say that my friends in Florida didn't mm -hmm. care about their neighbors, but uh, there were too many people that didn't care about anything other than themselves. Um, I found that narcissism, narcissism, <laughs> did I say that narcissism? right? Narcissism? <laughs> right, I should know how to say that, shouldn't I? Ran rampant in Florida and uh, it was hard to deal with because uh, it's always hard to deal with people who are in the room with you who feel like they are the only ones in the room, mm -hmm. totally disregarding the presence of others, let alone their feelings and or opinions. Um, up here, I don't find that as much. Uh, as I said, people care, they listen, they're kinder. Um, they've got great values, which I think a lot of people take for granted. The, the basic values, love of country, love mm -hmm. of neighbor, um, of course, love of God. And um, those things sometimes slip through the cracks in, in larger areas. I don't know why, but they have. They didn't mm -hmm. used to. I can tell you growing up in Detroit, all of those things factored in. I had a great life growing up in mm -hmm. Detroit. Grew up in a, a neighborhood which was more or less intact over the entire time I lived in Detroit. So I got to know my neighbors over 15, 20 years and I had surrogate parents in every house who who were not afraid to discipline you if you got out of line. So it wasn't <laughs> uncommon to get disciplined by the neighbor and then hear about it when you got home and you didn't think twice about, it, think about be it because those were the same people who would correct you for behaviors that weren't good but would also make you a peanut butter jelly sandwich and a bowl of soup if you were hungry and nobody was at home at your house. They cared about mm -hmm. you. They wanted to see you do well and they certainly wanted to make sure that you felt as if you were loved and liked and here i you know i sense that there are a lot of people here that care about the people they interact with mm -hmm. they want to know you they want to uh understand what makes you tick mm -hmm. and uh, they're also quite willing to to share a little bit about themselves mm -hmm. it makes it very interesting what are some of the assets what do you see as an asset that's here the a lot of times we talk about the negative, and that's one of the reasons why we're doing Meigs Forward, because there are a lot of positive things that are going on in Meigs County. Mm -hmm, but what sure. do you see as an asset, especially as someone who's, who's been other places, lived other places? Well, I, you know, first and foremost, you can't get too far away from the natural beauty of the area. Anybody who's lived as long as I have amidst the urban sprawl, you really start to take uh, or, or obtain a, 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 a gratefulness for the natural beauty that's around you. And there's not a single day that I don't take a walk and see something that I haven't seen and marvel at. It could be when I'm going out very early in the morning because I do get up very early and to, to see the canopy of stars over my head as I get in my car every morning, I, I can tell you that it's not that uncommon for me to stop and pause and look up and, and say to myself how great thou art. It's, it's something that I, for one, think is one of the biggest selling points in that area. Uh, a lot of people might think there's too much space. And uh, I would argue just the contrary, the space and the fact there are so many people that, that love the, the natural beauty of the place, how can that not be one of our biggest selling points? Excellent. And it is. We have a lot of different parks. We have wow. camping. We have the river. The we, river. There's, there's so many different opportunities 
to enjoy the outdoors. Mm -hmm. uh, you come shopping in Pomeroy, you can you see that beautiful bridge. You see, I mean, there's so many things here. And all the, and you know the one of the things I've noticed about the entrepreneurs in this area who have small businesses, they try, they work so hard. There's a, a you can tell that there's a pride in ownership and. Um, you don't always see that at the big box stores. In fact, you rarely see that at the big box stores. You know, what, what, do, what do the workers care if the box store succeeds because the owner's probably a big conglomerate in some mm -hmm. other country or some city far away? Here, you're dealing with people that, uh, you know, this is their business. They built it. They mm -hmm. take pride it's in it. That's absolutely true. And th they share the success that they have with the rest of the community. Excellent. And again, this is Carrie Glockton with Makes Independent Press, and we're on Makes Forward. And we'll be back uh, with more from Stephen Figuel.